The bird with the Latin name Geopolia striata is not only a bird capable of singing melodiously, but this bird has various unique features that other birds do not have. Its body is long and slender with a medium size of around 20 to 25 centimeters. This bird's tail is shorter than its body length and its head is rounded. The color of the head is gray, the neck and sides are finely striped, the back is brown with black edges. Meanwhile, the fur on the outer side of the tail has a blackish color with white tips. The iris and bill are blue-gray, and the passerine perch leg type is red to dark pink. In general, the physical form of male turtle doves is very different from female turtle doves. The physical characteristics of male turtle doves are that they are physically strong and able to move agilely. On the male dove's face, white is dominated by more than the female dove's face. The beak has a different thickness to that of female turtle doves. The male turtle dove's beak has a wide shape and good thickness. When a male turtle dove wags its tail, the tail expands by itself. So it looks wider than usual. During mating, when a male turtle dove is in heat he will nod which indicates that he is in heat. <laughs> Meanwhile, for female turtle doves, their beak is short and thinner. His eyes are more glazed, and his legs are fragile because of their thin shape. When mating, he will wag his tail so that his tail will expand slightly. The bird with the Latin name Geopolia striata is not only a bird that can sing melodiously, but this bird has various unique features that other birds do not have. For some bird keepers, just by looking at the turtle dove, you can determine what sound it will make. This uniqueness is usually called catarangan, which means conveying the shape of the body. Catarangan, which only exists in turtle doves, can show how turtle doves will sound when they perform. Just look at the cataranga section and you can be sure the sound that will be produced. However, when compared with the Thai type of turtle dove or called the Bangkok turtle dove, the Javanese turtle dove's voice is relatively small and thin. Generally, doves that are kept as clangenon by most hobbyists are usually only fed grains such as white millet, barley, red millet, small grains with a little black sticky rice. There are also hobbyists who provide additional feed such as mustard seeds, gotam seeds, canary seeds, and extra feed for mineral needs in the form of cuttlefish bones. Apart from providing food, to maintain the health of doves kept in cages they also need to be dried in direct sunlight. Usually, hobbyists dry the turtle doves on a hoist pole at a height of approximately 7 meters. Doves eat grass, weed seeds and insects. So, it is possible that in nature it has benefits as a natural controller of weeds and insects. The people of Yogyakarta, especially the aristocrats, nowadays almost all like it because it has a good voice and has high economic value. <laughs> Meanwhile, in nature doves often live in pairs or small groups. Eat on the ground, sometimes they also gather to drink at a water source. The nest is thin and flat made of twigs, has two white eggs, breeds from January to September. For its distribution, the turtle dove is distributed in the Philippines, Peninsular Malaysia. Meanwhile, in Indonesia it is spread across Sumatra, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, Java, Bali and Lombok. This species has been introduced throughout Southeast Asia. Postgraduate student in the Department of Biological Sciences, University of Arkansas, America, shared her experience when she made observations. He explained about observational studies of doves. The turtle dove is a typical Indonesian bird, especially on the island of Java. 
While studying in America he never encountered this dove. For this reason, he hopes that doves will continue to exist in their habitat. Because if it is lost, the ecosystem will be disturbed. For example, food distribution becomes hampered. In fact, the existence of this bird in nature is very important for the continuity of the ecosystem. However, until now the challenges have been tough. Because according to belief, some Javanese people think that keeping Javanese doves can bring good luck. So there are still many who care. Birds are among the types of animals that are most easily found, from deserts to coasts. Birds not only live in the wild, but some are also pet birds, such as pigeons, doves, magpies, and so on. Birds with the highest diversity are found in tropical areas. However, the rate of bird extinction in tropical regions is also higher than in other regions. Just like other living creatures, birds also adapt to their environment. It is known that most birds inhabit areas within a particular ecology. Others occupy special areas or habitats according to their location and type of food. Interestingly, Indonesia is home to more than 1,500 types of birds and is the fifth country in the world with 10,000 types of animals currently breeding. Birds are important members of many ecosystems and are an integral part of food chains and food webs. In nature birds have an important role for ecosystems and nature conservation. There are various reasons involved in bird farming. Some people breed birds for the purpose of preserving profits, and some people breed birds to have companion birds. Bird cultivation, aviculture or breeding is the practice of keeping birds. Aviculture encourages conservation provides education about bird species, provides companion birds for the public, and includes research on bird behavior, in captivity using controlled conditions, usually within the confines of an aviary, for hobby, business, research and conservation purposes. Some of the reasons for carrying out bird farming are, breeding birds to preserve species because many bird species are threatened due to avest classes and natural disasters. Bird lovers certainly want the best for their pets. One way is to provide a comfortable and spacious cage. Aviary cages can be the right choice to help breed birds. An aviary cage is a large bird cage that is not hanging, but is made to resemble the natural surroundings. This cage usually has a larger size than a bird cage in general, so that the bird has more freedom to move around. There are several types of birds that are more suitable for breeding in aviary cages. Like the turtle dove, this dove has an active nature and likes to fly. A spacious aviary cage will provide enough space for these birds to move and breed. Doves also need a place to play and socialize. A spacious aviary cage will provide enough space for these birds to carry out their activities. Apart from bird species, the size of the aviary cage also needs to be considered. The size of the cage must be adjusted to the type of bird that will be kept. A cage that is too small will make the bird feel uncomfortable and stressed. When making an aviary, you must pay attention to four basic requirements such as 1. Location of the cage the location of the aviary cage should be placed in a shady place and not exposed to direct sunlight. 2. Cage size. The size of the cage must be adjusted to the type of bird that will be kept. 3. Tools in the cage. Aviary cages should be equipped with places to eat, drink and perch. 4. Cage maintenance. 
Aviary cages need to be cleaned regularly to maintain the cleanliness and health of the birds. By providing a comfortable and spacious aviary cage, bird lovers can provide a better life for their pets.